Hello, it's Vision Fan here with another house build video. This is gonna be a row of houses I'm gonna be uh, furnishing because this is also the building of the houses. I saw Diddy Crazy doing something like this. Uh, <coughs> I hope my game is gonna handle having the, these houses furnished. I hope so. Uh, but it looked like fun, so I decided why not. And I <coughs> wanted one of these to be like a cafe bakery kind of thing. Which, uh, and then maybe two separate apartments on top. So I'm kind of trying to make that work right now. But yeah, as I said, this is like a party inspired by uh, what the the Rikoshi did in that build. So I decided to just uh, go ahead and do something similar. Because why not? And it's also something I don't think I've ever done before. And you know me, I really enjoy doing stuff like that, being uh, doing builds that are out of my comfort zone or different than what I'm used to. Okay, I might have to. <coughs> if you hear any background noise, I can't help that my neighbor likes to yell at her son. Uh, so if you hear that, it's just them and can't do anything about it. Because it's just yelling and that's not really a thing that you can report. So yeah, just a heads up. But it's, uh, it's a house build and we're both overing this. And I think anybody by now knows that I'm not good at void overing, so uh, we, um, we, I am going to try to do this the best that I can. So I might uh, this week also pre-record a couple of videos. Uh, so if you think, why is this content different it's not going to be different it's just going to be pre-recorded uh, just so i can get some time off this but still upload sort of something like that also just telling that just to have it out there it's a monday here oh I'm a, mm, it's going to be tough to tell this how I'm gonna so uh, two weeks ago there was a new supermarket opened uh, like very close by where I live closer by than the supermarket I usually go to and uh, I was tempted to go there the week that it opened but it opened on a Wednesday and I do my grocery shopping on a Monday, so that didn't really work. So then, um, last week on Monday, I decided to go there because I had to already uh, use my car that morning and uh, this supermarket is so close by that it doesn't make sense to really drive there but it kind of as i already was driving back home that morning from somewhere else i at least could drive past there and park and buy my groceries well that was a mistake 
you would expect it was just a supermarket but it was also like the week off here in the fall which didn't really help I guess it was super crowded uh, to well the week that it opened we had well, I don't know if it was then uh, like not too long ago we had new rules put in place new mandates rules regulations whatever you like it for COVID uh, which meant that we are now uh, being advised to wear a mask in supermarkets we hadn't previously and so uh, I think that might have been a month ago now looking back at how many times I wore a mask in public um, so this uh, new supermarket was new for me it was new never been there before and then with the mask on and the crowdedness and the extra kids running around the store I haven't had any problem with masks so far but I had uh, I was standing there in the supermarket I was almost done with my groceries and I was about to pass out I really had to focus to get my groceries uh, paid and to head home because it was not pretty it was so busy my mind just couldn't deal with it and then with the I don't know if it was the mask or not probably not it at least was it just was too much apparently for me <laughs> that day so then when I did get home I took the time to sit and to just um, be there and uh, eat something, drink something, calm myself down it's strange because uh, as I said before I haven't I haven't had any problem with that mask but for some strange reason I did have a problem that uh, I was in the store for about 20 minutes maybe new store, I didn't know where to find anything but apparently those 20 minutes in the store was was way too much for me to handle so that was great that was uh, definitely the highlight of my <laughs> of my day yeah definitely but i did grocery shopping this morning at my usual usual supermarket as i said the the one nearby is so nearby it doesn't really make sense to start my car and drive there and <coughs> doing groceries for the whole week in one go uh, is usually too much to carry or take on my bike so yeah that's uh, definitely yeah something i won't be doing i guess but yeah just a heads up i didn't have any issues today buying my groceries if anybody out there cares but yeah we are doing quite well you saw me now uh, build the houses uh, did at least most of the outside of the house uh, like the railing deck flooring and now we are figuring out a floor plan for this house because um, as I said this is going to be a row of houses and I would personally really like and enjoy if uh, this first one could look like it was an older house the, the oldest in the row <coughs> My guess is here is this old woman. You will see later what she does with the spare rooms. She might want she might have had a son somewhere down the line. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe also not. 
I don't know. It looks like she might have had a son somewhere. But she also has a cat. Still doing some adjustments to the other houses. Which are potentially not gonna even exist when I'm done with it. But okay. I at least try to make something of it. But this first house. This is... Uh, the other houses have been renovated. Uh, spruced up. But th this first house that we're doing is like really old. Like as I said, this from this old lady that, that just... Uh, hasn't done anything to her house since she bought it. It has some old furniture in there. It's a bit dark, a bit drab, a bit outdated. What other words could I use for it? Oh, this is a house with a Q. Can't use outdated. That sounded like a good word for this house. With a Q. Can't call it quarantine. <laughs> C couldn't do that, <laughs> even if I wanted to. So yeah, as I said, this is gonna be a bit of a trap old house, with potentially just somewhere where you don't want to be outdated. Yeah, that's definitely what I would say it is. Yeah, but this old lady might have had, she has a son, or a kid, I don't know, could be a son, could be a girl, not here to judge the person, I'm gonna say it's a son, because this is old lady that is very, <coughs> um, uh, very conservative, has old thoughts, thoughts that don't really work in our society anymore today so she yeah with that said she has a son this son has moved out when he potentially went to university or something or college and he hasn't uh, really come back since this old woman has his room the way he left it because why not she is really particular about that as I said, she's really stuck in her ways. And uh, now that she had, uh, her son has moved out, she has uh, claimed this empty room, this other empty room that they have, uh, as her cat room. Which makes sense, because that's definitely normal. Cat room it is. Um... But yeah, that this 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 is not a house I would like to live in. What what could I what could I name this house with a Q? Apart from quarantine or quiz. <laughs> Let's Google this. I never really do this on the live um House builds, speed builds. We'll start with Q. I have a feeling I've already searched this before. Yeah. So far, no words that that sound appealing to me. It doesn't even say quiz or quarantine on this side.
lots of words apparently qualification that's It's it's it has to do something with the house. Questionably, that could be an option. The question does. Because it's a bit questionably, what a word. Here it says quarantine, ten letter word. Yeah, I can't really use quarantine because I don't think uh, qualified. I could also use that. Wouldn't have thought of that myself. Quantity. But this this is more of a I don't know. This is not quantity. All these words I've never heard of before. Quaint is that? That's it's a bit of a quaint house. You could do that. It's also, as I said, questionably. But quaint is good work. This woman might think it's a quaint house. I don't know. Questionably quaint. You will see. What I named this house when I post it. We just have to wait and see. But yeah, it could be worse, right? This woman at least tried to make it something. I do now looking back at it, this one room has no windows. I wouldn't want that room. I'm one of those people that could just stare out of a window for good 15 minutes and just uh, just look and dream and stare into the distance bet a lot of people are like that right not just me but yeah we're doing the sun's room like this this is what his room looked like right before he left for this college that he went to he definitely doesn't live here anymore. That's something that we uh, are able to confirm. He has moved out. But his mom still uh, keeps his room uh, very neat and tidy. Vacuums it every week. Dusts it. Dust, she dusts the room. I'm really good with words. Did you know that? I just had to go Google <laughs> search. Some words that suck with a Q when this house built, so I'm really good with words. Like, uh, it's my forte, it's definitely not. Even um, just just as it is, not something I'm really good at. And we're doing a bathroom. Did we already do the backyard? I don't think so. As I said, uh, I usually don't build houses like this, but this is a very old house, very outdated, old-fashioned. It has these, these yucky appliances. As I said, this is probably what the house looked like, the row of this, these uh, townhouses looked like when they just were um, built. Very old school, very old-fashioned. Yeah, I can name all the words again, but I just already did that not too long ago. I just not start with that. That seems a, like a good idea to me, at least. See, we haven't done the outside, the backyard.
but even doing some landscaping and some terrain paints and I really really wanted to use this see this sun has moved out and since he has not come back he potentially has kids and a wife and a family his own house doesn't care much about his mom anymore makes sense if you have such an old fashioned mom wouldn't really want to hang out there I guess myself either and she has a lot of cats not just one but five cats or something that just roam the house of course they don't come into his room because his room is closed yeah the only one that comes in there is the lady that lives here who knows where the dead come the dead's just not there anymore for some strange reason he just isn't but i'm gonna wrap this part uh, this video up right here if you enjoyed watching films this video up subscribe to my channel so you see the next video the next time it uploads my name is Visa Van, and i hope you have a lovely day goodbye